Hey everybody, look who isn't dead. It's uh, it's me. In case you, in case you uh, couldn't tell or didn't care. Hey, how's it going everybody? I know it's been a little while since I filmed a video, been recovering from surgery and some other stuff, but I assure you more videos are finally on the way. Until those are ready, I'd like to show you something a little different. See, me and my friend Steve have started a podcast. It's called Pitch Shift. You can find it on Spotify, iTunes, and TuneIn. We even have our own YouTube channel where we're going to be posting full episodes and streaming in the future, so be sure to subscribe to that channel. All of our information is going to be down below, so be sure to check that out and go and support us. Really means the world. And to give you guys a little taste of what it's gotta be like, I'm gonna start making these videos where I take like segments of the podcast and I put like visuals to them. Sound good? Okay, great. Here's me and Steve talking about the devil all the time. Did you know, I, I was reading, apparently there was some controversy, I'm using air quotes again, mm. there was some controversy Can't about confirm. the devil, about the devil all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that like somebody said like apparently an early review was like there's just no jokes in it there's like no levity it's like <laughs> one what <laughs> not everything has to have levity I prefer yeah. a lot of things too two what the fuck like there I don't... absolutely were and not... there were jokes in three that movie is hilarious for entirely separate reasons lies lies the lies the lies are hers was a delusion that it would have kept him from saving us I ain't gonna take the blame for no bastard child. I've had some kinky sex. I have tried drugs through the younger years of my life. That is like, Devil All the Time is my fucking comedy of the year 2020. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen a decent comedy movie and I'm glad that movie came along to like alleviate my need. <laughs> Delusions. <laughs> Blasphem in the law in your mind and then your heart. As I was saying, Robert Pattinson's character in that movie is just Dennis from that episode of It's Always Sunny where he <laughs> thinks he can speak in a British accent. <laughs> this has gone on long enough. enough. Ah, shit. Are you doing an accent? Yeah, I was doing a British accent. It was a British accent. That was British? I like that you started drooling. <laughs> no, Robert Pattinson was spitting both facts and like his weird chlam COVID chlamydia everywhere. I was, I was watching somebody talk about the movie. It's like, oh, and so Tom Holland starts telling him this story about like his wife going down on him. And it's <laughs> supposed to be like this parallel thing. And like they were talking about it in a way, when we watched that in the movie, I got the impression that like he followed him around and just sort of spied on him. Yeah. For, like the things he saw. Yeah, but, yeah, But like yeah. the way they were describing it, they got the impression that he was just kind of imagining this. Yeah. And it's just the type of thing where I'm thinking, I'm like, huh, I... Maybe I would have drawn my own conclusions on that if I didn't have a stupid fucking narrator coming in every fucking 20 seconds. <laughs> That's the thing, I'm like... Goddamn a... Sandlot narration where he, like, Tom Holland got himself into a real pickle. <laughs> I just love at the end, it's just like narrated by the guy who wrote the, the book. book. It's yeah. like, maybe that's the problem. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, for most of the movie, it's like, okay, there's a little bit too much narration, but it's a stylistic choice, whatever. Yeah. And there's that one point where like some, where the narrator's like, and he said, and then somebody <laughs> says a line of dialogue, I'm like, no! <laughs> This is this is just those fucking Dr. Seuss things now. Yeah, <laughs> like the narrator fills in for a rhyme for the Grinch. Cariah said. Grandpa Josiah. And Grandpa Josiah said. Yes, you Cariah. And Andy Spence said, I'm going to shoot myself. I don't think we were ever like... Serious, like a passionate about well, the devil all the time. Well, it's like like we were never bored during it. It's the type of thing where it's like it I is, was engaged. It's the, it's the type of thing where it's like there's some pieces of a really good movie in there, and it's so interesting to see all these things put onto it that just make it not that <laughs> yeah because it has like a lot of characters going on in it and they like i you know uh, this is like something to be said about like sometimes a movie has too many villains like in a cape shit movie like mm -hmm. spider-man 3 and there's other things where like sometimes like i, I like that kind of trope of like interweaving narratives everyone like kind of meeting up and like everyone was speaking with a weird fucking like southern accent wasn't Nobody that one thing in ohio the same accent <laughs> yeah like, some people are like well oh, how's it going i'm a well, i'm a serial killer i'm gonna take a picture of you my why I'm there and I'm gonna shoot you. And I bought the bracelet <laughs> for Belinda's birthday. <laughs> it's a shame that they never sing. My girl wants the devil, devil all the time, time devil all the time, time devil all the time. time. <laughs> <laughs> the timer went off.
<laughs> right as we were singing Devil All the Time. <laughs> well, wasn't that fun? Thanks so much for watching this, guys. If you liked it, be sure to give me a like down below. Be sure to go subscribe to the podcast channel and check us out on all those audio platforms. We're gonna try and do this as consistently as we can, so it should be some pretty steady content. Like I said, I am recovering from my surgery still. You could, I don't know if you could tell, I still, I still can't feel any of this part of my face. Things are going really well. Got some exciting stuff brewing for the future, so be sure to stay tuned. And some great news about the movie. We've been doing pretty well at the festivals, and uh, and look, I even, I even whipped up a special little little Blu-ray edition for uh, for a certain individual who it's Steve. It's uh, he 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 wanted to to see it. I don't know why I buried the lead on that one. I, I only talked to like two people. So I'll most definitely be posting a lot more updates about that as things go on. And like I said, I'm gonna be trying to make content as regularly as I can. Go follow us over on the other channel or subscribe or, or do whatever. I, I'm just, I, I, I hate doing call to action shit because I don't, I don't know what to say. Your support really means the world. Love making videos for you guys and I will see you in the next one. He's being the space cops. But yeah, man, like there were so many movies Michael Jackson wanted to be in, and I'm honestly, I think we got robbed that we never got to see a Michael Jackson James Bond movie. <laughs>